Um, well, these are all in leeway. I was kind of just doing some other stuff. We could do some of these, though. What's an Archon quest versus a story quest? Is that like main story something, I guess? I don't know. Chapter 1, Act 1. Chapter, Act 1. Archon Quest is the main, is the main one. Alright. Let's go to Leeway and do the book quest. You're Paimon looking to purchase a copy of the Leeway volume of Tevat Travel Guide in Leeway Harbour, tending to use it to visit various places of note through the region. <coughs> Travel guide it seems good since we have been there. Hmm. I'm, I'm assuming we have to go up here. around there's no obligation to buy we're looking for the leeway volume of the Tevat travel guide uh, do you have thing? it in stock sorry dear we stopped stocking that a very long time ago it just wasn't selling huh? but the monster volume was so interesting bummer the thing is the author made it too personal and the result wasn't really much of a guide it barely sold any copies and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse Village. He's a complete grouch. But he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. <laughs> Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a oh, chance that dude. Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Who are you? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name My is Sin Cho, a humble literature right, enthusiast like who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Cheng the Ninth? That makes sense, but I'm not putting you in my group. My pleasure, fellow book lover. I like this how this game gives you a fifth um, party member when you ha when you get someone that's not in your group. Hey man without hair, how you doing? Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Leo a volume of the Tevat Travel Guide? It's soup. No, I wanted the book. No. So, are you buying or not? No, I'm just stealing, I guess. We're going there. <clears throat> oh, I don't need to do that. Oh, except it's a thing. That's one of mine. All right, so we're gonna go here and find that one then. Climb the mountain. He's good for casting alt, then switching back to a fast character. Hmm. Genshin's gone okay. We did some things. We ranked some stuff up. I think it's going to be about a 50-50 split between Genshin and um, Bloons, maybe. Depends how I'm feeling with Genshin. 
Codex is looking really good. They keep adding stuff to it. Like I keep getting more icons that lead to more menus, that lead to more chapters. So while I look at it, I'm like, you know what, I've, um, I'm, I'm getting through this thing. They're like, oh, by the way, bam, here's a whole bunch of other stuff to collect, kill, whatever. So surprised by how much is in the game. There is a ton of content. Um, one of the things that, oh, hello. One of the things I really appreciate compared to the, um, because there is a there is a fair comparison um, between Warframe's uh, AR no MR and this game's AR system, um, but one of the things that I prefer about this is that the Warframe one's based on leveling up uh, item like all the things. This one it doesn't matter about that. It's, it's got the the similarities. You still have to do stuff, but it's about the percentage of stuff that you do, not about what items you do it with. Yeah, in the inverse is Warframe. It's like it's got nothing to do with the percentage of stuff you do. It's the percentage of, um, you know, doing it with each of these items. Yeah, and for some people, like, I mean, it's it, whatever floats your boat, tickles your fancy, you know, something like that. But I feel it's um, for me. I got to the stage where I'm like, okay, I'm doing the same thing with the tenth item in a row now, and in two days I'll get the eleventh item and I'll do all these things with it as well. Well, it's kind of like AR, MR in Warframe is um, also how long you've played the game, right? Provided, and in both games that only works provided you're doing something new. The difference is in Genshin that something new is something completely new that you could do with the same characters. In Warframe, it's only new if it's new to a different weapon or new to a different frame, but it's not something new to the player. And that's where I couldn't sort of get past it, where I'm like, I'm literally doing the exact same thing now, but on another frame. Oh, and now I'm doing the exact same thing again now, except on another weapon. And what made it even worse is that other weapon wasn't even getting used, it was just sitting in my second weapon slot doing nothing. Yeah, so dailies are probably the closest thing to doing the same content, but those sort of get pushed out in... So part of me wants to go see her to grab the quest, but it's going to lead me into a billion other quests. And I like doing the story quests in nice, neat little packages. <laughs> but I feel that also maybe I should have taken the road. Nah. Her quest mark will stay on the, on the, on the world. That's one thing I really like, is that now that I've... Wait, it will, won't it? Yeah, now that I've seen her quest marker, it stays on the map. So at some point I can come and start the quest, get a story. If it's a quick quest, good. If it's not, I can spend a chunk of time on it. I should unlock the domain. If I can get it. There's been a couple that I've trekked to, purely so I could unlock them. And then I've gotten there and it's gone, you need to be a higher level to unlock this. I think I can jump. Oh yeah, I can. I might get one more jump. Oh, 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 oh. It's all about that timing. You just gotta gotta know what your character's capable of doing. Okay, help! This is pretty far up here. In before I go around the other side, there's an elevator. Oh wait, the domain's down there. Oh, that's never getting unlocked now. I'm not climbing up here again. Huh? Huh? 
Yeah, there's mountains here. What's the deal? Yeah, so with the with dailies, because they've got to get dished out in small amounts. Right? Or limited, at least. I don't think this is helping me be where I want to be. Where's the thing? There's the thing. Right. Gotta pick the path that has some rest stops. Alright, so... Oh, spoilers, chat. If I had gone around the other side and walked the long way around, would it have been just running up a hill? Like, from here we go... I don't know. It seems like there would have been mountain trekking at some point. It would have been just a hill. Oh, what is this? I'm fine. All the lights went out. Okay. Okay. One. Two. Okay. What have they got in common? What does this one have different? Okay, I got three though. can do these if it's it'll either be an order or it'll be okay so it's actually something to do with the statue these three are fine this one's bad i think this one's bad yeah okay go, Barbara, well, these go. three are fine Then the next two are bad. Now it looks like order doesn't matter. Oh, I see. So you pick any four. And then if you haven't picked the right ones, wow, that's, that's brutal. That stops you from working it out. Okay, there's got to be a way to work it out. It's bones pierced, it's spirit faded, it's form, soul, both decimated, still it survived the flesh. He stands now this statue to watch each direction's windswept ruin, snow cap peaked, a deputy's bowed, and the city of leeway. Okay, the windswept ruin. Which will open up at some point when we hit somewhere else and we'll know where it is. Until then, I won't know which way it is. But that's the statues in the order of which one's looking at those directions. Um, so I'm going to put a marker on the map and we'll come and do this when I've um, caught the compass challenge, I guess. That's cool. That's going to be very, that's going to be even cooler when we get it. Huh. 
I get the th unless the thing is down or I get it from there. Well, unless it's in a cave. That better be that dude's house. I just climbed up a huge hill for nothing, didn't I? <laughs> or worse, I just jumped off a hill I climbed up that I need to climb up for nothing. There's the road less traveled, I guess. Okay, so we would have actually gone around the road here. And I probably would have got sidetracked on the way by lots of things. Where's the... On the roof? Going within that room. It won't be. It'll be on the. Hmm. What do you I wonder, Jing Cheng? I've been out in the fields for a while and I wonder how the half's going. Wife? Wife? Uh, <laughs> you, go, you, you go find your wife somewhere else. It's not going to be me. Go, Robert, go! I actually kind of like that reset after four, no matter what, because then you can't just. Yeah. You have to work it out, not just get it. Like, not, not just uh, eliminate. Okay. <laughs> Granny Wushin. Deep breath. Welcome to Kinsei Village. Are you the village chief? I'm not, but after doing the same kind of work village chief for so long, it's what everyone calls me. It is ours a gentle, peaceful village surrounded by clear waters and beautiful mountains. Life is pleasant here, and we don't want for food or water. The only problem is because it's too quiet here, the young people have all moved away to Liwe Harbour or elsewhere in Tevat. We have not enough people left to share the work of the village. Oh, that sucks. We old folks have the responsibility of tending to the fields and looking after the grandchildren so that our sons and daughters can work in whatever far-flung place they want without needing to worry about the family. Oh, you should make them do their chores on the weekend or when they come home then. Be stuck in a tree. Oh. You're not going to have the book. The book's going to be up in here somewhere. I wonder if we're going to find the book. No, we just got to find Chang. Read your quest log, Pans. And steal books. I just jumped off that mountain. Remember when I jumped off the mountain? I said, Did I just jump off a mountain? I don't need to. Chang up these ladders, guys. They seem to have um, accidentally left this uh, quest marker uh, oversized for some unknown reason. Like they want me to find him myself instead of pointing me in his do exact direction, the location. There he is. <sighs> yeah, the the heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. That's what their job is. Excuse me, are you Chang the Knight? Uh huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. A book. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Liyue volume of the 
the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? It means you have no books. Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> it's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long <laughs> Thank time. Thank you for telling us this heartwarming story of what taste, happened to boy. you in bad way. What? Please tell but me that you still don't? have one thing I want, because I'm that selfish kid. work <laughs> was an epic-defining <laughs> masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. Are we finished? It is uh, my act one, one and okay. only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. <laughs> My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. Changu is a joke. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in <laughs> this day and age. <laughs> oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. I have a feeling we won't and be. you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. Oh, we're gonna get your books back, dude. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Jeez, Louise, give the man a minute. Oh, uh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I... Xingqiu, vow to repay Xingqiu. this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey, 
Hey, where are you going? We still got a job to do over here. Also, do you have the book, um, Leeway, Traveler's Companion Guide that everyone hated? No? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we finished Act 1, and with no spoilers for anyone who's watching the VODs, it ended not in a cliffhanger, like it ended, um, but in a big way. There you go. Um, very moving. And I've got a, a, a bunch of stuff coming up in the next week, uh, so I didn't want to start Act 2, because I know once I start it, I'm just going to want to play it all, which is good, right? Because Dragon Age is amazing. But, yeah, I definitely don't want to start it and then have to leave it for a few days. Oh. So, you like reading, huh? Mr. Five Second Hero? Ho oh, ho, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hmm. Hello? Shincho? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> How can they bully poor old Cheng the Ninth like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple. Yeah, we've got to find a way to help him. Don't forget me. I'm in too. I'm oh, doing POE for the so second half of stream tomorrow. Hear what we're saying. I don't know. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Cheng the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I meant every word I said to Cheng the Ninth. No, no. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. You don't have a plan. At <laughs> you already have a plan, don't you? You don't have a plan at all, do you? <laughs> of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. <laughs> it shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? Oh, we know someone's <laughs> gonna get hurt. I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant goo -hua clan. <laughs> That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <laughs> <sighs> it's cute that you want to stick your neck out for <laughs> Chang and all, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you we now. don't need an army. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Where's your Why nose? should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Here to play with me. Hey! No one escapes my sights! Guy's first one to die. Yeah. 
firefly things get in between us. I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. Uh, well, that's on you, buddy. You won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? So you're a vision bearer? Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. <laughs> Satisfactory. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute, but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. He mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you gonna do? Quick travel to the rescue. <laughs> I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, so that's <laughs> how that turned out. Yeah, he's got stuff this to do. This whole passage is just extraordinary. Ugh, this guy is so annoying. Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face. Uh, you can do that, but first let's help Chang. <laughs> Fine, but as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known as... Guhua Geek! Paimon, that's a bit rude. He's like, I don't care. Know their self, know their enemy. Man, I haven't listened to that album in ages. So, oh. right. We'll just climb the wall the old fashioned way. By climbing the wall. Can we jump now? We jump now. Uh oh. I don't know. We got there. Dirty woo. Who goes there? A Monsnap merchant here for a meeting with Gentry Mokai. I'm Pans, a VIP client of your boss. Really? That one's somewhat he didn't truthful. mention anything about a meeting. No meeting? The master's dealing with some urgent business today. Yeah, with me. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? Hmm. What is it? <sighs> the master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Just anyone? Are you saying we are not his VIP clients? Uh, no. I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me.
Huh. Would you like to explain these extra fees you are incurring to your boss, or shall I? I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. <laughs> if he finds wow. out that I tricked you into thinking I was the VIP. My much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. <laughs> Uh, nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. You did great too, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon loves compliments and all, but treating Paimon to some tasty snacks Why would show that she you was really mean food. it. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. Yeah, this could work in our favor. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue Kiosk. Shinue Kiosk. Seems business hey, is booming at the Shinua kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. Now, but I'm either confused. way, Do if we, we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Okay, we have outrageous um, anime outfits. Magic powers and we can fly. Yeah, we blend in. All of my characters would lose a game of Spot the Protagonist. Is that because they, they, you know, they'd be too busy picking like literally anyone? Like they they assume it's not them, and then they look around and there's like a hundred people, and it could literally be any of those hundred people. The fate of the. They'd be the same in Cyberpunk. Like you, you would lose a game of spot the protagonist in a um a, like a downtown Finally, on a downtown street. With a view. Oh, you mean compared to like these guys? Yeah, all right, fair enough. I can't get a spot, but I'm pretty sure if if look at it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this dude's just just like full on perving on us. I mean, I don't blame Bang. him. But he's not hiding. He's not trying to hide it. The fate of wow. the Uwa Brotherhood was sealed. Need to do some eavesdropping. <sighs> Just a few more minutes rest. I understand. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. I'm gonna have ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch. Darn that old man Chang. I don't know why it just came to me then, so, but something Mr. popped in my head and said, you are having ham and cheese for lunch, and I'm okay with this. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? With mustard. You had lunch, but now you too want ham and cheese. I don't want it now. I want it a little bit later. Can you wait, Demon Thorn?
It takes a ham and cheese sandwich to want a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> What's that even mean? You calling me a who are you calling a ham and cheese sandwich? It's calling you pants. It's quite obvious. Oh. You probably should wait, like you just had lunch. Because I'm not ready yet. A pans and cheese sandwich. I mean, I really don't want to put my meat on it, but I'll give you some special sauce. Never had a ham and cheese sandwich. How could you know you want one? You could have had the components and another type of sandwich. Right? When actually all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your I think backside that's a reasonable. while you read your book. We know that Gentry. I mean, all instinct says Mokai, but that's not what they said. Moshi. I don't know what he's up to. I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? <laughs> Did you? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege. For reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There okay. is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes, Ooh, uh, is this, this guy another is dragon super as well? Hard to read. Paimon can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, I know. Why did we go if you already knew? Uh, hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. Well, why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big wig commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? What is the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. How can you be sure? Gentry Moutsai must be taught Moutsai. a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Okay. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Ching the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion. Concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you. Almost as much as Sandwich does. Pavilion. Yeah, that's hey, fair. Stop ignoring Paimon! I find that most of these characters annoy me a lot. And I think it's because it's the, um... Like, 
I'd prefer my anime in over the top Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> not try not nice and calm, trying to talk like normal conversation style. You know, like if you're gonna read, if you if I was reading anime, I want the the style that ends like every second sentence ends with four explanation marks, and then convert that back into the actual cartoon version that I can watch on TV. Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. You know something about this? No, oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yeah. Yes. The I try to convert Paimon the into Elmo in my head. Honored guests, you I must think both that helps. be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please. This way. I want to go to that place. Can I be an honored guest? <clears throat> hmm. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Instead, they cooked us either a huge chicken or a small turkey. Let's go with fruit salad. What's the potato dish that comes in like a tomato sauce? Or is that gnocchi? I mean, it's not going to be gnocchi in, in, in this, is it? Could be potatoes. What do we reckon this is? Let's go with fish. Paima didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Mm, food. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mountsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has guest. inflicted I have on Chang. Since though. Gentry Mountsai's business has to do with core Can they be super large cats? we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be game? sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liwa is huge. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. Okay. There is also some unsold Core Lapis at the Chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many more! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> the Feiyun Commerce Girl Guild is certainly generous with its resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Don't break my fourth wall, Paimon. Let's do this in the... Oh, 
Okay. So if I have to ride in on a herd of cats, I want them arranged in some sort of rectangular, like nicely close together. So it looks like I'm riding a carpet, like a magic carpet. Ooh, ooh, and at the front, I want one of those giant bunnies to sort of lead them. I'll have reins attached to that one so I can sort of lean back on them. How do I get out of here? There we go. <laughs> Paimon, how a Jamaican response to what do you want for dessert? That's terrible. Paimon. There's Chroma, he'll appreciate that. When you, one Good of the day, first interactions friend. you have in the game. My apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Um, someone asks you what about Paimon and, and what if you're friends. And one of the options you can say is no, it's emergency food. Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnaya products. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does we take it all still count as retail? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Clearly no shortage of cash flow in the year. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming back here for business. There you go. This one's still showing up on the marker. They have to give me the or is it truth? down? It's down. The boat can't be long now. Oh, not that far down. <laughs> Sometimes accidents happen. not that type of game, really, it's not. Man, you're gonna have to drown again, because I don't want to have to... It's, I think it's quicker for me to drown you than it is for me to work out how to get you where, where I need you to go. No, don't be here. Ah. Okay, no, never mind. We're good. We're good. My friend. Oi! Shh! Keep your voice down. I'll take all your call apples. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> Best you give me an actual number. All of it would be far more than you actually want. It's for the Feyun Commerce Guild. Fe Feyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Feyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. One more. And see if dude's plan evolved very well. I'll get stuck in there. Oh man. A copy of each invoice is sent to the ministry. 
we want to climb up. I think here seems good. Go, Lisa, go. Oh. <coughs> Batman. Ooh. Hey, you look at me? No. The key here is consumer Hi, psychology. anything I can do for you? I want all your core lapis. You want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. Cancel them. That said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Then let the Feiyun Commerce Guild take it off your hands. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. I don't worry about him. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going well. This is so next level fetch questing. We don't even actually fetch. We just sign a contract saying that um, the person, the quest giver, will come and get it later. So we do actually have to go there. So we're going to go here. From there. Contracts are everything. Contra yeah, contracts, I mean, one of the good things about contracts in a, in a system that supports everyone doing contracts, it means you don't have to carry money, like money around with you, right? You just sign an agreement and follow through. And as long as you don't, haven't tarnished your um, reputation of upholding your contracts and everything's fine. <laughs> So one of the issues I have with the, this game, and it's not really a negative, is that I, I hesitate yeah. to pick up side quests along the way because sometimes they can be long and uh, let's go with meaningful-ish, I guess, but they prevent me from doing the main quest too much. And I just sort of, I, I not necessarily the main quest, like I like side quests in games. But they take too long to sidetrack me and get me back onto the main path. <laughs> and, be and because the quests aren't... Like, these quests often come with dialogue and story. I don't want to take hours out to go and do other quests. Just to be like, what am I getting? Because then the quests, that's when quests become, they feel very um, fetch questy. You know, you go do a quest and then you, you're just doing the objectives. Whereas I, th I think that this game's done a very good job of supplying more than just the objectives. As long as you don't interrupt that with a whole bunch of other stuff along the way. But there's just so much other stuff. Where'd he go? <laughs> Quests are mostly huge. Yeah, so I will do it, but like... Uh, so one, one of the reasons is, one for me, but also... <laughs> Also, a little bit for the YouTubes, is that if I start a quest and it's got a... It's same as in Dragon Age type of deal, right? Um, 
you see a bit of story when you get the quest. And then you do the first part and you get a little bit more story. And then you get to another sit junction and you make a choice or whatever. And then you get a bit more story. And then you finish it off and you get more story. And it's nice and continual. Right? If you go to a spot, <clears throat> get the bit of story. And then while you go into the second one, you get a new bit of story. And then go to another one and get a new bit of story. And then you go back and do the second part of the second quest. And on the way, going back to the first part, the second part of the first quest, you get the first part of the fourth quest. And then you do the second part of the fourth quest, then you head back and do the second part of the third quest, start the fifth quest, go do in the second part of the first, you know what I mean? Like it, which, is, which can be a good thing if you just want to kill your time. But I find when that happens, because you've got so much story just going back and forth everywhere, all of a sudden I, I start taking in no story from all of them. And it literally becomes a, open up my quest log, find the next marker, go get the objective, hand it in, and rinse and repeat. And when I've got little bits of story like this that I want to listen to and engage in, because I think I, I like, I, I'm liking all the little stories, I don't want to ruin that by breaking it up into so many parts here and there. And this is just a totally me thing. All right, whereas when I, like if I was playing an MMO, like World of Warcraft, playing an MMO, I don't care. I'll go get the 20 quests. I don't give a crap. What do you need the, the, the 10 um, rat's tails for and what type of soup you're making and that's why you need this onion and not that onion. I'm happy just to go get all the quests, go out, get all the stuff, go back and hand in all the quests. But when there's actual story involved and voice acting and stuff and um, and it tie, somewhat ties into uh, the grander scheme of things, yeah, I want to I wanna pay attention. So I kind of just want to do one storyline at a time and not get distracted by other quests. I don't mind getting distracted by little things up the mountain like the Seelys or chests and things. But yeah, other little, you know, side story arcs. It's like, yeah, I'll come back to that on its own, you know, and do it from start to beginning. From start to beginning? From, <laughs> from, from start to end on its own. Because some of the world quests, you don't know. Some of the world quests, you just do them and they're done. Other ones have like five parts to them. Like that, that dragon's tooth one. We found a dragon's tooth. That took forever. <laughs> there was heaps of it after that. Which is good. But also because the when you do see a quest giver on your map... You don't have to go off and get it because... If I zoom in far enough, where are they? Do I not have one here? Oh, they're supposed to still be here. Why are they not here? <gasps> where are they? Wait, there's none down there. Where'd they go? Is it because I'm on a quest? Where'd my world quest go? Wait, there was world quests. Chat, what happened to my map? Oh, if you go too far... Really? If you do go far away, they'll vanish? How far is too far away? Oh, now I'm scared. Oh, now I want to do them. They come back if you get within range again, though, right? Yeah, Pan's panic. Yeah, okay. Pants can be calm. Okay. You can use the rep fender. Does she charge money? Because I'm I'm pretty tight ass. Like look at all this stuff. I can get sidetracked here. There's a chest there. There's stuff there. Chest there. Something there. Something over there. Something there. Something there. Chest over there. It makes me feel like that scene from A Night at the Roxbury. Sup, 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 sup. Dude, pace yourself. Sup, two, three, four. Sup, two,
Log in on seven days during the event to win rewards. Oh, thank you for telling me about that notification system. Yeah, multi-part puzzles are really good. Strong. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lab this year? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Liu Harbor. Yep. As it happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. How much does it cost exactly? The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do is... 7 million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than 100,000 mora on the rest of Liyue's stock put 200, together! 200,000 mora. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so... It has to be worth my while. It's poor form just to raise the price without good grounds. No, it's not. He has business grounds. He's breaching a contract, so he should make more money. Like, that's what that's how supply and demand works. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with, and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. That's pretty much it. All right, all right. We'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, surely there's no need for that. Well, that's how business works, dude. <laughs> like, sometimes if someone else has, you want to buy from them, you know, you got to... <laughs> uh, now you're learning about uh, business. <laughs> this poor guy. Maybe you should think twice before fronting the Fae and Commerce Guild. Please, right? don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the Guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I don't want any trouble with the Guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Market price? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, I do hope to carry on doing business in Liu in the future. Let See, that's the other then. side of supply and well, demand. No time to if lose. the supply is high, if the demand's high and the supply is low, you can scrooge everyone and You're charge alive, more money. Aren't you? But they can then choose not to do business with you on other parts of business. And you might be able, you might be all well and good saying, "Oh, but they're separate." But people don't care. People really care. That's a thing. Like, I think there's a lot of, um... A lot of 
things that people will say this is unfair or that's not fair or this you know they're just doing that it's like well that's how it works right. one of the issues um, a really good example of this is uh, price surging um, for uber over here which I don't know if, if uber does that everywhere but basically it's <clears throat> If for whatever reason there's a high supply and a uh, high demand and low supply, then the 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 ride cost goes up. I'll catch up. And people were saying it's really a <laughs> that's how it works. Okay, so if there's not enough um, cars, or not enough drivers, and too many passenger um, want to be passengers, then the the ride price goes up. Now they don't spring this on you when you get there. You have to agree to the um, the ride cost before you accept the, the driver it gets paid for immediately and then you get taken where you go or i think it gets i think the money gets held from your uber account by uber until you get there and then it gets processed not 100 percent sure on the details but they don't get paid if they don't take you and you don't pay if you don't get taken type of deal and there's, there's some sort of there's other things we'll work out on that one later i'm gonna go for the quest um So yeah, if you're if you're in a location that is having a, a large quantity of um, uh, uh, of pickups or trips required and a shortage of drivers, the price starts going up. Right? Um, it's silly to accept the service price. Yeah, well that's the thing. The fluctuating, but you get told the exact price of your trip before you accept it. So you might, but if you take a, a trip regularly and you know that this is a $10 trip and all of a sudden right now you look up and it's a $20 trip, right? Because um, something's going on um, and there's, or let's just say there's just a shortage. For whatever reason today, um, there's a shortage of drivers. If it's out of proportion, it might cost more. That's, that's a standard... But do I have Amy? No, I don't. Right. But people used to com were complaining about it a lot because if they went to the football or a, you know, that's a common thing where I live because the local football team is quite strong in the stadium. Um, well, it used to be just around the corner. Like, well, not just around the corner. But we used to be able to walk to the new one. You can't walk to that new stadium a couple of years ago. Um, it's not too far away though, but you have to taxi into it or, or take the train. It's quite a nice. It's, it's a decent trip on the train. It's easy. It, they put, 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 put their own train line in for it. Um, oh, did someone die? Whoops. I'm not paying attention. Pay attention, pans. Oh, that's a thing. Shield, right? It was supposed to be a joke, but Amy is Fischl's real name. I don't have Fischl either. In which case, then, I still don't have Amy. Oh, you're playing on mobile. I've got mine capped as well. It's got it knocking on, uh, on 60. Just for streaming. <laughs> so now I'm killing something here. Um, yeah, so people would comment, like, people really complain. <clears throat> Someone needs assistance. That, um, yeah, Uber was profiteering off busy periods. Um, water. It's like, it's, it's just how they operate. So, what they do though is you get lower than standard price when it's not busy. But people don't want to look at that side of the business thing, they only want to look at the side that. 
they get when they're getting a bad deal. They don't want to be like, oh, so I get a really good deal every other time. Um, there's a thing about this. The Americans will remember when JC Penny, I'm pretty sure it was JC Penny, when they got a new dude in as like CEO who tried to shake things up, and like company share value went like if they either their share value went down or they just made a, a huge loss. Prices haven't changed, it's how they word it. Um, there was a really good... Extra Credits did a really good video on that in particular. Um, hey, Methos, how you doing? Where... Because what happens in retail, right? And this, this is the thing. Um, in retail, the standard price on most things is inflated to a higher level than what businesses are happy to sell it for. And it's not just, we can sell it for a higher price, so we're happy to sell it for you at a higher price. Because obviously making more money, and I think the example given is like a pair of jeans, right? Instead of selling jeans for 20 bucks, you, you list them at 30 bucks. That way you can have a sale a couple times a year. Right? And there are people that will, and you don't put it at 20, you put it at 19.95. Right? And then that way, you, or 29.95. And that way you can put it on sale at 50% off. And even though that fifteen, that fourteen ninety five is less than what you want to sell it for, um, because you do sell some at, at um, twenty nine ninety five the um, the remaining time of the year, it, it balances out. But it allows people that want to come in for a sale to come in and get it at sale, and they feel like they're getting value for a night, like they're getting a good deal, versus um, the people that just want to buy it now and can't wait come in and get it at off peak prices. Um, so the theory was, instead of doing that, let's set the, the, the price that we, the average price between the amount of sale price we get and the, and the off-peak, the off-sale price, and let's keep it at that one standard price all year round. So let's put it at $19.95 all year round. We won't have $14.95 sales, won't have $29.95 off-sale price, just a flat $19.95. And you sell a lot less overall and make a lot less money because people... Um, you know, it's how it works. People want to come in and get stuff on sale because it felt it makes them feel like they're winning, and especially if they get it on sale from uh, from de from thirty dollars down to fifteen dollars. They're like, yeah, I, I got I got a big winning. Yeah. And, but on the other side of that, if you need to do the reverse with your business model have a low have a sale price the majority of the time because most of the time you're not busy and then put a higher price when you are busy then you know surprise surprise or no surprise people get upset because they feel that the opposite of what happened is true is that they're not getting a win all the time they don't go I'm getting a win all the time and I just won't take it when I, when it's high price they look at it at the high price and go great now I'm getting screwed So the only way to counter that one is to never have a if you if you're in a business like that where you can't you don't want to have the price surge in high demand times it means that you need to balance out by not having the cheap um, price in um, in quiet times the problem is if you don't have the cheap price in quiet times you get undercut by competition you went with the 3080 yeah, the 39 is probably too much. Let Paimon see. If I was looking at just building a one-off gaming rig, like if I wasn't... Like if I update my... For streaming, I'll, if, if, if I was doing an update right now, um, I would go with a 3060. Because I don't want to... I don't need the extra performance. I don't... I'm not at the level where I need. I, I want the extra performance. Not so much a need. I don't want that extra performance for cost. Um, considering that if I was going to keep, you know, assume, uh, assuming I'm going to keep streaming and I'm going to be forever updating my my rig right, at regular intervals, but that update would come in more regularly than what I would if I was just buying a gaming rig for myself. That's it. 
the 3090 is only really of interest to machine learning stuff. Oh, I, I didn't know there was machine learning stuff into it, in, in it. It'd be cool to work with. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if I was buying a machine for myself, I, I don't... I wouldn't be upgrading my computer as often. So I would save up and I would spend that little bit extra to get something really top of the line the, that that day I buy it, right? So I can have a really awesome experience. Um, and because I like run my computers until they're dead in the ground, and then I usually patch them up with some spare parts and a bit of go, um, go. you know industry knowledge. Uh, and I've got friends that can do hardware stuff to they perform miracles on dead hardware pieces because that's their jobs. Um, I can I can I can make my dead computers last a lot longer, um, so I'll spend a bit more on having one so that I can get a top-notch one when I get it. But when I started streaming, I'm like, oh, I'm probably going to upgrade my computer a little bit more often. I, I didn't upgrade it like full balls to the walls, you know. I took I took a I went for more of an efficient value of, of something that does a really good job, but doesn't you know not quite full at the top end that's why i took the 2060 instead of i could have easily gotten a 2080 but um they said the, the difference in price just wasn't worth it for me but i could then put that i could put that difference towards the next one and get it sooner where's the next cart Yeah, you do get the most bang for buck going under, um, but you don't. If but that's the thing. If you want the best, the actual best experience, you have to take the top of the line, right? Um, in a lot of things, not everything, but in a lot of things. Um, but if you want to get um, a close to top of the line experience more often, it comes down to like, especially in this sort of thing, it does come down to personal finance and position as well, and 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 need, yeah. Um, so if you're in a position that you don't want to, you, you don't have the disposable income to be replacing a computer every couple of years and you want to make it last a bit longer, you have to choose. Do I get the top of the line one um, and get a really good experience this week um, and then wait a little bit longer before I replace it? And if you know that you take care of your machine that it'll still be running and you can wait it out a bit longer, that's quite often a really good good pick because then you get a really you know you get the ducks nuts it's great but if you go no i don't want to have to wait longer to justify getting a new one i'd want to i want to be able to upgrade it in a shorter time frame so that i can keep kind of up close with everything then yeah coming down a few steps in graphics cards um you know is a really is a good option that way but as always like i think the um the biggest trump card in all of that is um where your disposable income is I like doing that too, Demon Thorn. Um, like, I, I, I personally think you, you know, and if anyone ever asks, what should I be planning on? A, a, I want to get pieces for a PC, and what should I be thinking of, um, you know, spending the most money on? I always think, you know, put as much money as you can into, um, you know, CPU motherboard, um, and plan on keeping that for two rounds of computer, and then. Um, Put a little less if you if you need to budget into graphics card because and then update the graphics card halfway through the life the life cycle of you of, of the the machine. Where's the other cart? Because two or three years down the track, if you're going to get five to seven years out of a computer, which is reasonable, you know that's you know if you if you look after your computer, you should be able to get five to seven years out of it. Um, <clears throat> And if you've gotten a, a, a fairly high-end uh, CPU, which these days you can't really. The worst case now, you go get like a low-end AMD or um, uh, an i3, and they'll still last you the time. They'll, they'll still be viable in, a, in, in that time frame to use for, for programs and games. Um, being able to upgrade a graphics card in three years' time, that's a big... Um, especially imagine like if you had a, a fairly good graphics card three years ago, and then and you upgraded it now to a fairly good graphics card. That's leaps and bounds, right? Yeah. Our oh, peripherals are one thing. I don't. Yeah, peripherals are different uh, as well too, right? 
I still know people that get a full combo every time they get a computer. They get a new monitor, keyboard, mouse kit. It's like, why do you do that? I'm like, oh, monitor was getting a bit old. How old was it? Uh, it's like three, four years. It's like, really? Someone needs assistance. Not that bad. I'll catch up. You run peripherals that I? Me too. Okay, I don't think this cart's on the far outside, uh, uh, on the circle. How must we go? I'm going insane here. Where? It's under. No, no. I'm pretty sure it's not outside the, the quest circle. There's some dudes down there, but I think they're outside, aren't they? Is that even gonna help me? Someone needs assistance. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Right, let's kill these idiots and see what happens. Is it that cart? Maybe it's that one. Let the show begin. Let the show begin. It's not that cart. Your keyboard was supposed to be spillproof. I got a spillproof keyboard once. It wasn't spillproof either. And I don't know whether it was because like I basically poured a cup of tea on it accidentally. Ah, um, uh, there it is. Found it. Found it, chat. Here we go. Loads of Corlap is here. Hey, crit. You watch Mathil's review on the ascendancy changes. Going about three minutes on every class, then Guardian. I don't know what Guardian is. Onto Ascendant. <laughs> Quick, make That guy said there were five cards in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting for poor little Paimon. He definitely owes Paimon some snacks. That was a bit exhausting. I'm actually getting to the stage where I, part of me wants to upgrade my computer. But I think I'd be taking this graphics card and putting it in the next one. Which I... I'm kind of, I'm kind of like reducing the, the shelf time for that one. And so I don't want to do that. And this one's holding up okay. And so it's sort of balancing the, but I want it sort of feeling in me. I've got to suppress that, that want it feeling. Here, we've made Locations, all five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis? Well, how nine thousand? You're driving a straight truck today, as opposed to a a bendy truck. Oh, wonderful! Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope it's like a, a connected cab. Put yeah. in a good word with your boss for me. Done and dusted. Yeah. You're not licensed for Bendy Truck? What do you normally drive? No, not not one with a... I'm not thinking of like a... Um, um, not one with two uh, things at the back. What's the one where it's just the, the truck and... I don't know. Straight truck is between a semi and large delivery vans. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not... Um, the, the, the cab's connected to the rear axle as well, yeah? Whether it's a removable um, box or not, it's like, yeah, 
the, the two axles in the cab come together. Whereas the rear axle on a semi is attached to the um, the box, isn't it? So that the cab, there's a swivel between the cab and the, well, there's a gap between the cab and the, the box, right? I guess. Nice work, Pokemon. We make a great team, don't we? Now for the final stop on our Corlapis Crawl, to change the ninth place. So you've got a semi-license there, right? You just don't have the, the next level up from that? I'm trying to think of what, I can't remember what they're called. I used to reverse the ones into at the at the Paul's depot. I wasn't allowed to, but it's well, nearly time. I was for allowed to, tea. but I, I shouldn't have been allowed to. You don't have a semi license, so do, what do you normally drive then? Oh, do you normally just drive a van? And today you're driving the truck. When you said you're driving a straight truck, I thought you were going down a class. Purchase Changs. Yeah, straight trucks are light semis, but no hinge between a cabin and cargo. Yeah. And they're usually only twin axle, right? They're a smaller weight class. How about we explore the area ahead of us? Oh, okay. Sorry, Paimon. You're normally in delivery vans. Oh, okay. You worried about the truck? <laughs> calling them vans is a little weird, though. Why is calling them vans? I mean, they are vans. Or are they the, um, like the... Yeah, they're like the smallest moving truck. Where they've got a they still have a, a full height box on the back. It's just not very long. It's like a two tonner or something. Two point five ton. Yeah. I know the ones. We would still call those a truck over here, we wouldn't call them a van, but I guess a truck driver might call them a van. Uh, articulation is one of the descriptors, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh man, I just... I probably shouldn't be jumping down here, but I just realized I could grab the thing. Yeah, so you get the... <clears throat> You get the ones that are, they've got a, a full height and width um, box on the back. And it's usually a fixed box, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but the, yeah, the cab's in line with the rear axles. Always. No articulation. And then you get the semis that have the articulation between the cab and the box. And then there's the ones that have two boxes, and that's where the bendy is. And I, I'm sure there would be, but I have you, do you get the ones that have the bendy and like like a semi with an extra extra cab behind it? So there's two articulations? Does that exist? That'd be a pain to reverse. Wait, could I have just fast travel to this guy? Oh, I, I'm going to be fast traveling to that guy. I should have unlocked that. Whoever said I should have unlocked that is 100% accurate. Can I jump down from somewhere else? Probably not. Can't believe I was going to run that. Having articulation between cabin and cargo is how you get paid the big bucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, I personally think they they drive um, <laughs> they drive forward better. Than the smaller, than the truck one size down, the um, the five tons, because the five tons have that extra length on them, whereas like the little two and two and a half ones, are like uh, a fair bit, a little fair bit shorter, so you can you can you can turn well, but the largest truck you get that doesn't have the articulation, um, it's a pain to turn around, like to turn anywhere. 
but there's a different depending where you live there's different licensing for it because um, a, a, a long straight truck reverses very well whereas um, it's a different skill set to reverse an articulated truck and a lot of people can't do it it's not that hard it's it's just something that you you learn how to do or you get taught how to do it um, It's kind of like watching someone that reverse with a trailer on a car that's never actually learnt. And they go rent one from somewhere and um, they drive out of wherever they've rented it from. Who always put them in a way that you back your car up to it and attach the trailer and then um, drive forward. Right? And the reason shops do that is that way they, you know, you'll go up and you'll drive it forward and it's your problem when you get home whether you're going to reverse down your driveway or not. Turn your steering wheel in the back of the wall. Yeah, but it's when it starts, it's that balance between jackknifing and going straight after you've started to turn. Yeah, so th what happens is a lot of people will get home with their trailer because you only have to drive forward. And driving forward with a trailer on the back is pretty simple. You've just got to um, turn your corners much wider than you normally would. Right, so that the the which is the same when you get to a big articulated trucks like you you have to make the widest possible turning circle and sometimes you even need to keyhole a little bit to to make sure your you, um, your back carriage doesn't um, mount the curb um, or worse clean out a pole in between like if there's a pole on the on the corner of the curb like on the corner of a thing that's probably the worst thing I've seen that a bunch of times where someone will go around the corner and forget that the back carriage um, follows a, a, a path. Oh, look, we're stuck. No, I don't want to be stuck. I mean, sure, I can... T okay, good. Um, yeah, and they've just fully cleaned out that, the pole that's on the corner. Um, but yeah, so you'll drive your trailer home. Which is fine, because you drive forward and you can see it, so it's not so bad. Um, I wonder if this guy's going to come and try and eat me. At any rate. Um, yeah, then you get home and they and people will either drive straight into their driveway or... Which is the worst thing you can do. If you haven't driven... A, <laughs> life lessons with pans. I'm a font of knowledge. I'm a font of something. Um... Just run around, pants. Yeah, if you haven't driven with a trailer and you're willing to give it a go, don't drive down your driveway forward and fill it up and then plan on reversing back out. You're a font of sans serif. Yeah. Font with sans serif, Grimmer. You have no flair. <laughs> Yeah, you back it down first, right? And it's not so that you don't have to back it out later. Because let's assume... Let's give you the easy driveway. Let's say your driveway is flat. Right? If you realise you don't know how to reverse a trailer and it's in your driveway and it's full, you could be in a bit of trouble. Pudgy, squidgy, yet not edible. Defeat all opponents. Oh, that's up there. What's this? What's this random event? Why am I getting a random event? What does it do? What does it mean, chat? <laughs> Stupid boy. I might just pass that. Um. The phrase is because your final destination is usually easier to back into than back out of because of things like traffic. Yeah, well, that's the... And that's what happens when you start getting to trucking stuff, right? Um, but for just regular people, like, you get home. I think what happens is a lot of people don't... They just don't realise that they don't know how to drive with a trailer. And like I said, it's not hard. It's just something that if you're not very how cars travel minded I guess I don't know but it can take you by surprise the first time you go to reverse a trailer
They disappear if we go too far away? That's alright. Now grab hold of the wall. Now grab hold of the wall. Where are you? Fine. Um, because worst case scenario, if you're, whatever you're getting a trailer for, if you unhook it and turn it around, and then push it down the driveway, you can then back your car up to it and rehook it up, right? It's a lot harder to do that if you've already filled it up. Now that only applies for car trailers. It does, doesn't usually apply to big box trailers on the back of semis. Um, <laughs> I had um, a place where a mate worked at. They had their boxes for their non-road, like they, they had non-road boxes. Um, they weren't boxes; they were trays that they could put, that they had boxes on it. But they were used as tra just as trailers. The boxes were removable. They had um, uh, attachments on both ends. And I saw him, I saw him one day, and I, I'm like, "What's going on with the with the trailers?" And and he said, "It's so we don't have to back it into anywhere, because right, a lot of their a lot of the things they could drive up to, and then if they uncoupled, they could turn around, like they could just um, and drive off and leave it there." I said, "So it made it really efficient for most, because most people um, in the yard would be able to drive forward to something." Um, You know, uh, uncouple the cab and then, um, and 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 put the stand down and and park the the trailer, and it would do whatever needed to be be done. And then when they picked it up, they would reverse the um, the cab up to the opposite side and then drive forward, drive out, drive forward again. Which you know, why not? Don't get sidetracked. I want to chase the stars, but I want to do the quest. But it's like right there. Don't. And come back and explore later, fans. I mean, we can get this one. That one won't cause any fuss. Loons is cool. It's super, super chill. So I'm not going to... I, I did some of the easy ones yesterday after I realized that I wasn't getting credit for them. But I've come to terms with the fact that I don't care if I don't get credit for the easy ones. It wasn't really all that fun. The hard ones were fun. Um, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to do the hard ones and not have the credit for the ones. I might do the easy ones like off stream. Maybe if I'm watching a movie or hanging out. Um... <coughs> I also think one of the things is um, just mixing it up. You could easily just do the, probably just do the same build every map. And I don't think position matters that much. But black borders? Yeah, but I don't want to waste stream time doing it. Because killing one Moab isn't really that hard. Right. I just want to have fun. Like we did a couple silly things yesterday, which we, and and one with it, which was fun. Later maps. So maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I just got to push into the later maps. But and that might be because of the the map. It would have to be because of the map layout. But where it's hard to understand that because I haven't seen it yet is knowing that all the balloon waves are exactly the same in every map. You just need to use the same units to do the same amount of killing. Yeah, or that's what I would say. Like, when we get to the later maps, and not just the first one, but the one with the mods, that will be where it's cool. Because something like lower cash or missing certain chimps... Like, if, you're, if your meta strategy you're using is involves, like, the, the ninjas, and you get a map and one of the mods is no ninjas... Well, guess what? 
You're not relying on your strategy. So that, that stuff I'm really looking forward to, because that'll be a lot of fun. And it's also why I want to, while it's easier, or can be done, I want to play around with different stuff. Like that old um, cannons one we did yesterday with the general dude, that was fun. Even though we got obliterated on map 63, it, it taught me something. I hope. I'll probably forget and die on map 63 again. Um, somewhere. But that's okay, right? It's... Plus, even if it was winning or not, right? let's say you could get that your, your personal favourite strategy down and just throw that down on every map and win. I, and let's say even I had fun doing that. Now I can get back People aren't going to want to watch that every single time. Just right? who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking you're using, to myself. Uh, we noticed that you used 10% of the available monkeys have been mysteriously in a very specific for a order. While now. Have you tried doing something different? <laughs> different. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Yeah, I would. Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What, what happened? Not only that, but we'd like to purchase your coal lapis. Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> but I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The, the maximum I, I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Y you mean... You're not trying to force the price down? Nope. What, what, what's going on? Have I died and gone to heaven? I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But <clears throat> gentry mouse no thugs pause. could still come back after Wait, there's I've a pause? sold it. If Paimon told you they're not going to bother you again, or no you pause between waves, they're not going to bother you again. It's assured you are safe selling to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. Between rounds. But tell me, okay. what on earth do you plan to no do with so knowledge, much yep. core lapis? No powers. Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. Does not include tower abilities. And no selling towers. When you say no... Okay, so the no powers is the no pre-bought powers that you can take into a map, right? Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Don't thank us yet. Wait till we've Good finished people at least. always get what's coming to them in the end. Yeah, no, instant among such. So That's the way I prefer to play anyway. anyway. I feel I figured if because if a game is, we have I don't, a show to watch at the Feyun Palmer's Guild's warehouse. I wouldn't like a game that is balanced around you needing to make purchases before the game starts to win. For the main reason is, I swear if you I'll don't have any whatever the metagame fortune. currency is to make the purchase, you now have to just go grind that up before you can play the game. Now, I understand some people will... They're trying to beat stuff that is harder than they can beat, let's call it naturally. Right. So to do that, they need to buy purchases. And they're happy knowing that once they're out of those items and once they're out of money, they'll need to go grind up some money. That's different if that's what you need and how you choose. But if that's what, if, if game, and I know that I'm not, Bloons definitely doesn't feel like that because I've been playing it without buying those. And that's where a lot of people keep telling me, they're like, oh, you can buy these things. It's like, I'd rather just win, you know, um, instead of... I'd rather learn to win instead of pay to win. <laughs> um, that way, you know... And even with the monkey knowledge, every time I get monkey knowledge, I look at that and go, man, this is just making it easier for me in the future. But maybe because the game's getting harder, you're supposed to get that. But I like the idea of having a, a mod that has none of that, because then you're playing at just a baseline. 
So that sounds like a really fun set of challenges when we get around to that. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. Yeah, high level towers that earn active abilities can use them. That's fair, because that's that's balanced in the game. That requires you to not have to bring anything in. So if you're starting a fresh map and you build up to a high level tower, well, that's the same as any other time, right? You better believe it. We're the ones who've been doing all the work. What exactly have you been doing all this yeah, time? Yeah, what have you been doing? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halberd and Ominous Sword, Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. Is the ending of the book good? It was rather good. Thanks. I only hope that as our plan reaches its denouement, no monkey knowledge, it too will live up to challenges. its expectations. Yeah, that seems fair. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? Because you're an idiot. No fair. Uh, so go on then. Tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Mountsai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Gentry Mountsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral. And yet, suddenly, the stocks dry up, just like that. Hmm. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, yeah, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. I often get that. F Master, I got that feeling too yesterday, ladies and The water Seize ones are very lapis. strong. <clears throat> you do have to have a spot to put them in. Which is like people were saying I should buy a pool and put them down. I'm like, while that's a viable strategy to use out of game currency, put a, put a pool somewhere and drop in a boat. It just feels really cheap. Impressive. 
You are no commoners. <sighs> to continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. The core lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. What are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D don't go. Wait. I'm not sure why you want to do Master, that. Master, wait! Um, because oh Lord, it allows you to put you a, a very strong unit hurt? in a spot. Thanks to this valiant young man, I am unscathed. <laughs> like... My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Maozai, coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? How dare you subject me to such viciousness! This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground! Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy, or not? I... I, I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, <laughs> and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny speaking, book reading, guhua geeking, Tsing Cho? Are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So yeah, that come on, massive really let the, stash the, the of Mora you let right? us burn through in a day? That was from your private vault? Twas but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. You're too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Hmm. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <sighs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> save me! Save me! This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not a drill! He's obviously joking. Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. You're making us run another I end. did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and you chivalrous can't wait till they friends add is more about than speaking enough for in the me, first my liege. Person DLC. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just a lazy bones who doesn't want to work. Hmm. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. <laughs> ah, 
It seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Why didn't you tell us? Was the Feyune? Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Hey, we get to keep the book. Oh man, I gotta make this track again. I didn't unlock the domain. Oh, guys, why would you let me do that? That's terrible. I wonder if I can float down from there. Probably not. There's a telepoint closer. Oh, hang on, I've zoomed out too far. Oh, I probably could have teleported last time instead of running all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I needed to run around at least once. Oh, man. Right, that could have been bad. Go, Barbara, go! Go, Barbara, go. Right, we'll see that next time. That gets me quite a lot, the um, needing to be zoomed out to see the thing. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Need an option for always up. Barbara. I claim my lost fortune. Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. Oh, that's good. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, actually, that wasn't. Please us. don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Mm. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, Have that's you thought the of not making bad business decisions? I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halpert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled me. Do people really look down on the Guhua clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiu, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. He's better than you give him credit for. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. It's yours to keep. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. <laughs> I'd almost forgot about the book. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Strange bookmark. What? What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh, N nothing, nothing. That little rascal surely isn't. Hey, wait, what? Surely isn't what? Hmm. Oh, 
What wind has brought you by today? Come in, come in. Have we met? Thanks to you, I was able to sell the call up a good price. Effectively saved my life in the process. Might be astray, makes money, dump back again. Hmm. Best of luck. I swear I'll reclaim my lost fortune. Crest Awards. 